If there's one golf tip that's often given to the amateur golfer, and it's often given in the right meaning, you know, you're playing with your mates and you might be struggling to play some good golf, and your mates will always say, you lifted your head up. And actually that's pretty poor advice for most golfers because most golfers either they're not lifting their head up or they should allow their head to lift up because during the impact phase it's going to be very difficult to keep your head down for any longer than impact and then stay looking down you simply won't be able to follow through so allowing your head to lift and follow the ball is perfectly acceptable. I think the advice that some people get when they're told you've lifted your head is actually well-meaning and probably what's happened is they've lifted their entire body, they've stood up during the swing. The marker that people notice because they're probably watching is did your head go up? But that movement is never really driven by the head going up, it's much more driven by the rest of the body making the head go up. So for example, if I set up here, you can see that my spine angle is quite well angled forwards. I've got quite a big tilt here. But if during my swing, my body goes to this position, you would argue, yes, my head went up, but it wasn't my head forcing its way up. It was actually my spine angle lifting up. My body was standing up. My hips were tucking under and coming forwards. That lifts me up. Now, what will happen to the golf ball? Well, chances are if I've got a good setup here and then I stand up during my swing, chances are I'm going to hit a shot as bad as that. Now, that takes a lot of skill and practice to be that bad or that good at being that bad. So, we want to make sure that during your swing, you don't have that big standing up motion. Once we've set the spine angle in position, we want to try and maintain that spine angle throughout, and therefore we don't have the standing up or the lifting of the head as a lot of golfers have been told. So a really great exercise here to practice is club over your shoulders here. We're gonna point the club head, sorry, the club handle down at the golf ball and then point the club head down at the golf ball. And to do that, I have to keep my left shoulder low and my right shoulder low. As a right-handed golfer, front shoulder, rear shoulder. And I'm not having front shoulder stand up, which is the lifting up of the body. If you can resist changing the angle of your spine, you can resist that standing up phase, you can resist the lifting of your head, if that's what we want to call it, and hopefully by doing that, we'll retain the right height, we'll start striking the ground really nicely, getting under that golf ball more regularly for good quality contacts, and improve the striking of your irons because you're no longer standing up.